some Uber Eats deliveries may be adding another step, pin verification to make sure the food was delivered. And that's what we're going to be discussing on today's video. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and this is the Rideshare Guy. And today we're going to be talking about how Uber Eats is going to start having certain deliveries use a pin verification code. So it could be a couple of different things because they weren't very clear on the details of what deliveries are actually going to need a pin. Now, this could be just a testing feature where they're testing it out on some deliveries. This could be a feature that could help limit the amount of people who are claiming false reports and saying they never got their food. And it also could be a third way where they're trying to implement it for their new acquisition of Drizzly. So a number of people may have received this email if you are an Uber Eats driver, and it'll say some deliveries now require a pin at drop off. A pin is a number that helps confirm that the customer received their delivery. You're going to be notified in the app when you receive an order that requires a pin. So it's going to show you right on the ping screen uh, that you're going to need a pin verification number in order to complete that delivery. And it says only certain deliveries will require one. So again, this could be just them testing this out for into the future. They might be requiring this. This could be also, like I said, for trying to stop these false complaints. So anybody who said that they didn't receive their food, they might be trying to get them to use a pin verification to make sure that they're getting their food. There could be a couple of different things here. But again, the details are pretty vague on this. And it might just be something that they could be doing when it comes to alcohol delivery with Drizzly as they just acquired it. So then going on to the email, it says how it's going to work. It says when you arrive at the delivery address, the app is going to prompt you to enter the pin. The customer is going to tell you the four digit pin for their delivery. And after entering and confirming the pin, you're going to be able to mark the delivery as complete. So you won't be able to do that prior to getting the pin, which could be a headache because maybe there's somebody, a customer who ordered food for another individual, say, family member or a friend and wanted it dropped off, but yet they need the pin and they're not there or they're not present and trying to get hold of these people who ordered the food could be a potential headache. So there are going to be some issues with this that I see right off the bat, but overall it might be a really good feature that Uber Eats is rolling out, especially if it's to try to target people who may be saying that they're falsely not getting food even though they actually receive their food. Now, because there aren't too many details, I can't give that much, but I wanna hear from you and hopefully we'll get some more details. So are you an Uber Eats driver that's seen this email? Have you gotten an Uber pin verification yet for the Uber Eats? And what kind of order was it? Make sure to comment and let us know as many details as you can so we can kind of piece it together a little bit. Now, as more information does become available about the Uber Eats pin verification code, we'll make some updates and let you know exactly what it's for, why they're implementing it, and any other details that we may be able to get. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified for any updates as well as just videos overall because there's new videos each and every single week coming out. All right, everyone, drive safe.